Hi, and welcome to Driver Industrial here in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm Colby Johnson. David Contreras. And we're here to talk about our brand new X-Mod Beacon. This is an amazing beacon, and we're going to go from top to bottom on this. We're going to discuss all the premium features that it has, the modularity, the interchangeability, the, all the replacement parts that we have, and kind of how that all flows together. So first off, we're going to start with our single color beacon over here. So this is um, a short profile. We have a, t a high profile as well. So this is a short profile, single color um, LED amber beacon. We have uh, 10 LED flashing patterns. These are LED beacons. They are a class one, um, class two. They also have class um, California Title 13 compliance as well. Cycling through the different flash patterns there. And one of the amazing things about our beacons are is the modularity, all the interchangeable parts. So starting at the top, we have these polycarbonate domes, right? So we have a short dome, high dome. Now the polycarbonate, we chose to build these out of polycarbonate because the polycarbonate is impact resistant. The design we created makes takes this lens that has, you know, some grooves in it to a very smooth dome, which is very easy to keep it clean, dust free. So again, you get that class one super brightness out of it for your emergency vehicles, um, ambulance, police, fire, all of those use a class one brightness and our beacons are a class one as well. So that's really important to keep in mind. Okay. So we start with the permanent mount, so which basically is gonna have pads, two different pads, so when you mount, uh, you can you can bolt it through the, through the vehicle and you can have these pads. Also, it's gonna have a uh, pigtail uh, wire with the positive and negative, right? Um, and so this is going to be, this can be the short profile and if you want to convert from short profile to, to high profile, what you do is just remove the dome and uh, there's a pin, there's a, a screw, you have to remove the screw, right? Uh, remove the screws, push a pin and you can lift the light. You can, you can lift the meter, right? And then bolt it again, bolt the screw in just to secure it in place and then now you can go back to your uh, high profile okay of course you're gonna use you're gonna put a lens you can put a lens and then you can just lock it in place okay so again so that's from low profile to high profile and also you can also what you can do is you can convert um, the, the beacon from permanent mount to uh, uh, magnetic mount, right? So what you can do is you can, there's a, there's a bolt in here, you can just remove the bolt, the connection, so you can remove the cable, the power cable. It's a connector. So you can remove that and then you can replace it with a cigarette cord plug, which is a quick uh, connect as well. So you plug this in, there's only one way that it can go into the beacon. And then once in there, then you bolt, you secure it with the screw. And, and then what you do, you um, install the magnets, the magnetic mount. So it has two magnets. And also you can use as well either magnetic or you can do vacuum magnetic. So we have the two options. And then so from from the quick, uh, fr from the cord, then you just install the cigarette cord plug. Plug it in, and that's now a cigarette cord conversion. Mm -hmm. okay. And also, uh, for those that need uh, a, a need for a pipe mount, right? So we have, we, you can remove, you can remove the 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 magnets, right? And you can install the pipe. Pipe mount. It's going to be six bolts for the pipe mount, uh, and then the beacon is going to look like. And you switch back mount. to a pigtail for, yes. for yes. the hard mount. Exactly. Beautiful. Yeah. So you can see there's a lot of interchangeability, a lot of modularity. This is IP67 rated, 
So when this dome goes on and you press down and you turn and lock it, there's a, a silicone seal in there that's going to keep all, everything out of it. So this is going to be dust, dirt, um, water resistant. Um, it's going to be amazing. It's going to last a long time. Um, the polycarbonate, again, is impact resistant, so it's going to last a long time there. The lights that we have, the LEDs, are extremely bright. Again, we have 10 patterns with that. We have these, um, these are acrylic lenses, right? So these are the acrylic optics. They're optically clear, um, and they're made to diffuse the LEDs in a 360 degree pattern. So we have those available. If you're doing just a single color LED, um, especially in the amber, this is one of the best ways to go with it. Um, if you're doing a multicolor, or if you're picking another color, because we can do your amber, your red, your white, your blue, and your green colors, right? We also have a dual color LED as well in, in the low profile and the high profile. And we use the same setup here. This one already has the uh, magnetic base on it. And one of the things about our magnetic base, let me put this on just a smidge better. One thing about our magnetic base is it's over molded, so we actually have um, a little bit of rubberization down here on the bottom. So this little red part is actually uh, rubberized. So when you put this on the top of a vehicle, if you're leasing a vehicle or using your own personal vehicle, there's not going to be any scratching. Another design we added in here is this aer aerodynamic design. It kind of looks like a saddle. It's made to saddle any of those corrugated or a ridge top vehicle. So it can sit either from ridge to ridge or in between the ridges and it'll get that secure connection. So we have that available as well. So let's turn this one on. This is the dual color. So I have this in a uh, green white. So as you can see it flashes green, flashes white. Um, on our cigarette lighter adapter here we have a power on off switch and then we also have um, our switches one and two. Now one is going to change your color so when you press that now I'm green only. If I press it again I'm going to be white only and that's going to work with your dual color and then the bottom when we press that we're going to be able to cycle through those various those ten various um, LED flash, pattern. flash patterns so that's a constant on and then we have what's called heart attack um, and quite a few other very common um, flash patterns. We also have some incredible programming into the beacon. We, we, we consider the XMOD to be an artificially intelligent beacon, which is, uh, has to do a lot with the um, programming that we have in here. We have um, temperature sensors, we've got light sensors, um, and all the programming maximizes your voltage from 10 volts to 48 volts. So if you have a system that's a 12 volt system uh, or, or 24 or even 48, these beacons are all going to work with all of those systems. If there's any fluctuations in, in power or amperage, the, the artificial intelligence is going to balance that and optimize the brightness you're going to get out of this beacon. Because in the safety world, we want these beacons to be bright, we want them to be visible, we want them to be seen, because that's how you stay safe, right? Keep the visibility up there. That's why we built these in a, in a class one, um, so they would put out the brightest um, light possible. Um, we also have the day night, so it has a, a light sensor at nighttime. Um, it will drop down about 30% because you don't you don't need that light blindness, so to speak, um, because it's really, really, really bright. So we have that that's built in there, and that can be turned off, right? Yes. 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 Totally change. We also have a, another feature, the night only feature. Do you want to talk about that? Yes. Yeah, so the night only feature uh, is called uh, barricade mode. So a lot of times when you want to just ha want want the uh, beacon to work only at night. Uh, you can program the same beacon to have that. So this is when you want to identify a crane uh, at night. So usually the, the requirements for the tall uh, cranes to have a beacon. Um, uh, so at night, you know, it'll turn on automatically. Uh, and of course, you can select a flash pattern that you would like. So you program from the standard beacon for day and night to night only. And, and also you can uh, program the flash that you want. And uh, the important thing is that these are smart uh, beacons. 
they have uh, they retain the memory so it's only one time that you have to uh, program and next time you, they go on and off they retain some memory so you don't have to reprogram again that's excellent. And the same 10 flash patterns that you have for daytime operations, when you flip it over to nighttime only, where it will only operate at nighttime, you have those same 10. Um, and I love the fact that once you set it, you can kind of forget it. All you have to do is just turn it back on um, whenever you need to, and then you get whatever settings you, current, you had the last time you used it. So, excellent. We have um, a little bit more to talk about about the inside. So let's, let's open this back up. And that little guy off there, I'll turn this one off so it's not so distracting. Now let's talk about the electronics a little bit more. So this is, uh, like we said, this is the emitter, right? It comes in a single single color, dual color. Uh, we're coming up with a rotator as well. And coming soon is going to be an RGB as well. Mm -hmm. So the availability that, that we provide is that you can just change uh, later on, if when we come back uh, as an example for, with the RGB, what you can do is you can just buy the emitter and the driver. You don't have to buy the whole complete uh, beacon. So you can just replace, if you need to replace uh, the light, the emitter, again, uh, we have a, uh, we secure it with a bolt so you can just remove it. And then you can install another one. Right, you can just install another one. So this could come in handy if you purchased one color and you're changing jobs or anything like that and you go into another site that requires you to utilize another color. Instead of pitching the whole beacon, all you have to do is purchase a new uh, light emitter. So if you went from you know amber to red was the new requirement, you could just do that one change. Now if you're gonna go from a single color to a dual color, then you would need to get the LED emitter and this driver, this is where the, the computer programming and everything sets. So as you can see, this is our driver, and our driver is fully encapsulated, mm -hmm. right? So all the parts are placed uh, just on the right uh, place uh, to dissipate the, the heat. And, um, and also, uh, it has an intelligence uh, chip. So that chip controls the ambience, right? It, it measures the temperature, and provides a better output for the air, for 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 that for uh, the temperature, right? So you always will have the brightest light uh, in the cold, in the in the hot weather, uh, day or night. You will have is the optimum. Uh, so that's why it's an intelligent uh, beacon because he he processes data and then uh, provides the best output for the for the ambience. Um, again, they're fully encapsulated. Um, and you can just remove the bolts and then you can replace the driver and place another driver just in case if there's a problem with the beacon right uh, you can always just replace the driver and install a new driver you don't have to buy a new beacon mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. same thing i love that the fact that we have all of these replaceable parts um, if you have a situation where you you have it hard mounted permanent mounted you want to switch to magnetic mounts we can make that a super easy transition or vice versa you have a magnetic mount and now you want to permanently mount it somewhere um, it's just as easy as is picking up a kit and switching out a couple of parts and you're good to go the polycarbonate um, domes as hard as they are and and as indestructible as they are if they do get broken cracked or something you can remove those and just replace them um, same thing if you go from a low to a high for some reason um, you want to go from a low low um, profile to a high profile that's as easy as just buying just the dome and the uh, the acrylic lens the optics here and super easy to change we also have for hard wiring in the vehicle if you're not using the um, cigarette cigarette adapter right that's super easy to use we also have the hard wire um, with the same basic on off switch and then you have your one two switch so you've got your color at the top and then you've got your 10 led patterns at the bottom um, if you are operate, going to put this on magnetically on a vehicle that is not um, steel, right? We have a six inch steel plate that has 3M um, adhesive on the back here. So you can clean your surface, put this on your vehicle, 
and then I'm only do this one time when you want your magnetics to go on boom you are now locked and loaded so that's another easy solution we try to keep everything in mind when we build and design this and collaborated with our engineers we took every bit of input that we've received from all the various jobs that purchase our beacons and other things that we thought would really be revolutionary to the company and kind of poured it all into the one beacon um, with the various options here so we really have a premium beacon here that's at a super competitive price with other beacons that maybe have lesser quality um, or have have less features and premium about them and then ours has all of this more and again our price is super super competitive um, you're gonna be surprised you're gonna love it um, have we missed anything no, I think we've I think got we cover everything. we've got pipe mount. mount we've got permanent mount we've got magnetic mount we've got the vacuum magnetic let me have one of those again so the vacuum magnetic um, is magnetic it does not work by vacuum alone but we have a lot of beacons in the market that are vacuum magnetic so there's a lot of people that really like the vacuum magnetic um, capability again it's got the rubberization so you're gonna have no scratches and then the magnetic and you're gonna put that on and then press it down and then you're gonna create that vacuum seal and the magnets gonna hold it there this will not work with just the vacuum alone you still have to have some steel um, some attraction there for that magnet to do its half of the job so but this is a great solution as well I think you'll find that you'll be very happy with uh, this magnetic solution here with the overmold and the rubberization here and then the saddle that will allow you to fit over any type of grooves or channels on top of your vehicles um, again we have these available in um, all the five basic colors your amber red blue green and white um, and then we have the optics available currently in the clear when you're using a colored LED um, and you can do if you're doing a dual color you can do an orange or an amber I'm sorry an amber and another color um, and then we also have if you really like the amber look we have the amber lenses in the low profile the high profile yes excellent well this is great I am super excited about this beacon mm -hmm. yes I'm really excited to find out from our customers how excited they are going to be about these beacons and um, we're looking forward to talking to you on the phone um, communicating via email and getting a bunch of these out to you feel free to contact us online uh, visit our website www.driverindustrial.com you can always email the sales team at sales at driverindustrial.com and you're welcome to call us at 602 424 Two five zero zero. I'm Colby. I'm David. Thank you. And we'll see you later. Stay safe out there.